Uh, what was done to him was a huge injustice, and I think people see his, his story and realize, like, man, this is going on. This is not like a one case that happened. This is this is happening a lot for people, you know, especially places where I come from, in the boroughs and Marcy projects and Bronx and Brooklyn and all these places. So it's very important this story. They said I had a felony conviction, but I didn't have. I the felony conviction got dismissed. Mm -hmm. So that's why they detained me. And I called me while I was in jail and told me, like, bro, I just got locked up. Woo -woo -woo. And he called Jay Z. Mm -hmm. And Jay Z put a lawyer on my case type shit. Got you out of there. Yeah, he played a role in getting me out of there. Yeah, for sure. Come to find out, you know, Jay Z, Jigger was supposed to be the one who blew the whistle on the whole ordeal. On the whole ordeal, the fact that they was having these underground secretive meetings. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So basically, what you trying to say? That I ain't trying to say a motherfucker thing. Oh. I just said it, ninja. <laughs> Fuck you mean what I'm trying to say? What's wrong with you, goddamn interviewee, nigga? I ain't trying to say shit. I said, Jigger blew the whistle. He snitched. He told him he would have told them them people, man, and it, all hell broke loose. And then from that point on, all five of them companies. I stood in front of the stage, oh, let me stand right here, big man. And I had on this, the army joint, and when he seen me, it was like, how the fuck this nigga right here? Right. And he saluted me. And he walked to the side after he was doing this one million, two million, three million, four shit, and walked over, told the chick Carlene, the same bitch that told Kanye, he could buy two tickets at the joint, you know what I mean? He whispered something to her, she comes, down the stage, walk past me. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Give me this little kiss like she, and keep it moving. Taps the security boy and walks in the back with him. Mm. 30 seconds later, 40 security niggas come up in yellow jackets and black shirts like y'all gotta move from this area. So he stood to the side. Then the boot cops and the police come in there. No, y'all got to move out of this area like y'all got to go. Right. For what? I got an all access pack. That shit ain't good no more. You got to get the fuck out of hells. We locking people up. They pulling out sticks and all kind of shit. So Okay, so we want to speak about Diddy right now. So if you look at your screen, this is the raid first did it Diddy mansion, man. Like they really digged up this man house, man. Like they really got some deep information about Diddy. They are not going to do something like this unless they got some real evidence and they also have a lead on Diddy that's really strong you know these type of raids mean a takedown raid where they have something on you and they know that listen they own you right now one thing I can tell you is that Diddy is blowing money really fast right now Diddy is spending a lot of money in lawyer a lot of money to pay feds a lot of money to pay cops police he's spending a lot of money right now you know and he need all the money in the world he can get because only God and a lot of money can get him out of this situation, man. I hope some of y'all young cats learn from this. Let this be a lesson for you to know that, listen, you got to travel the right path and you got to avoid a lot of these mistakes. You got to do the right thing, man. Protect your life and protect your freedom. It is the mastermind. Thank you for your time. See y'all later. And it's different than when it was 2016. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch.